Hello, everybody. I want to share with you guys some information that I have found in Harley Adelson's ability deposition. This is definitely some character evidence that I think that you guys will find interesting. And I was not aware of all of these trips that Charlie had taken in 2016. And I have made a little timeline to kind of explain exactly how many trips that Charlie took in 2016. And I'm going to go over this portion of the deposition. And I believe that this is, this is part three of Charlie's disability deposition. So let's get into it. I hope you enjoyed parts one and two. But as I'm slowly reading this, I think it's very important that I share with you guys some of this character evidence that Charlie shares in this deposition pertaining to the Dan Martell murder and the Catherine McManua trial. In this deposition, they are asking Charlie about his injury that happened in the Philippines in 2016. So they're asking him about a variety of trips that he took to the Philippines and they're asking him why he went to the Philippines so often. And they're asking him why he didn't travel any other year other than 2016. And I have my timeline right here next to me in my notes. And I'm looking at it and it's it shows that Catherine and Secreto were arrested in 2016. Uh, Catherine was arrested in October and Secreto was arrested in May 25th of 2016. Let me just first go over my timeline. His first trip to the Philippines was September in 2015. Then he went on another trip to the Philippines in December of 2015 through January of 2016. And April and May of 2016, that's when the bump in the wiretaps happened. May 25th of 2016, Sigfredo was arrested. June 1st, the police were at the Adelson Institute. June of 16, Charlie takes a trip to Houston. August of 2016, Charlie goes to Croatia. September of 2016, Charlie goes to Las Vegas. October 1st of 2016, Catherine McManua was arrested. October of 2016, Charlie goes to Columbia. November of 2016, Charlie goes to New York. In November of 2016, Charlie goes to the Philippines. So as you can see, Charlie has taken a bunch of trips in 2016. Maybe that was his last hurrah of, you know, freedom. Maybe he thought he was going to get arrested. They asked him a bunch of questions who he went to see. He, it seems like he wants to go see friends and families in this area. They asked why he traveled so much in that year. They're asking him the really tough questions, you guys. And at the end of all of these trips, they're asking him very specific questions about how long he stayed. When he went overseas, he stayed about two weeks. When he traveled continental US, he traveled about three days and he went to see his cousin. He said his cousin graduated. He met his family and they went to Columbia. And it just all seems so crammed in and he can't really account for why he took so many trips that year. And I guess what they're getting at is that if he had the money to travel, how come he's asking for disability? Why does he need money so much? And so the main question, what I'm seeing right here and the point of this whole video is this main question, did the publicity around your ex-brother-in-law's murder have anything to do with you wanting to get out of town a little more during that time? And before that, Charlie just said, you know, he was trying to take these opportunities Okay, so then Charlie says, I'm not going to discuss anything on the advice of my attorney. Guys, I'm going to leave it at that. This is very important character evidence that I was not aware of all these travels that Charlie did in 2016. Please leave your comments below if you have any feelings about this character evidence regarding Charlie's travel. I was pretty shocked by it myself. So you guys, thank you so much for listening and have a wonderful new year and a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.